Hello everybody, it's Bleakborn, and today I'm doing a video on culturing springtails. It's going to be very similar to my culturing isopods, but a couple little difference. And uh, we'll dive right into the materials. So, like the isopods, you're going to need a little Tupperware container, or two, or how many you want to make. You're also going to need some kind of soil. I still use my vivarium soil. I'm trying to get rid of this bucket worth, so you'll see a couple videos using the same stuff. And then the only difference is I will be adding in this, uh, what do they call it, Horticult horticultural charcoal that I got from a lo local garden store. This is just whatever brand, and uh, you can see that's for all kinds of plants. It's just pure um, hardwood charcoal, and uh, it's going to be in another video you'll see soon where I show you how guys how to make my vivarium soil uh, from start to finish. And so we'll use a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and... Uh, and I'll add a tiny bit of what is left over in my leaf litter so they have a little extra food. They usually use the mold, they usually eat the mold that uh, grows on decaying matter within the substrate layer on top of the substrate. They eat all the mold and stuff. They don't actually eat the leaves unless they're really far decomposed. So we'll get started right on it. I have a large culture here. I don't know if I've shown you guys. Um, and there's a lot of them in here, and I'm going to split it up into a couple more and see how they do. So we'll get right into that. Okay, we're back. Um, so we'll take one of our Tupperware containers. I'm going to make two separate cultures this time. And uh, I'm going to save this third one for some other culturing down the line. But first I want to do is add some water. I forgot to mention that in the other video. My cup's leaking. Just... Springtails like it wet, so you're going to want to make sure your soil and everything is very wet. So now once you get it filled up a little ways, I'm just going to fill it up and kind of go as I go. I'm going to start adding a little bit of my, uh, I'm going to start with the charcoal first. Because you kind of want, you can do solid charcoal, a lot of people do, but I'm going to cut it with uh, varium soil. So I'm going to add... Actually, some vivarium soil first to try to soak up some of that water to both cultures. Kind of about the same amount. And I'm going to let it soak in for a tiny bit. Because you can see it kind of is a little wavy still. Once it kind of absorbs into this very, um, what do they call it? water resistant material because it has very good drainage hydrophobic is the word I'm looking for um, once it starts soaking in it soaks in pretty good and it actually like peat moss soaks in really well so I usually get that fairly wet but uh... Z uh, isopod, or <laughs> isopods, springtails like charcoal as well. So I'm going to add a good layer of charcoal in here. I'm going to mix it into the mix too. Just a little bit more than you would an isopod. Since the isopods don't need to use it to reproduce, just the springtails. And I'll mix it in. I'll even add a little more water to this whole batch here in a second. And you can have a lot of water in here. As long as there's a place that they can climb up and out of the water, you can have a good layer of water in the bottom of these. And they actually reproduce pretty well in the water. As you guys can see in my uh, the budget build that they're kind of everywhere. And don't worry about getting your hands dirty this kind of part of the process. So once you kind of have your... Let's bring it under the sun. You guys can't see that. So once you guys kind of have a, a good and mixed, you're going to add your isopods. So it's pretty wet, and I'll probably even add a little more water than that. I keep saying isopods, they're springtails. Adding springtails! So from my large culture, move this away. So this is my large culture here. And you may or may not see them moving all over the place. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna just kind of flip it over. You can see them all jumping, hopefully, as I move my hand through here. I'm just gonna take a good, good hefty handful, put that in that one. Good hefty handful, put it in that one. A little more. And then I'm gonna actually add back into this one a little more soil and a little more charcoal. Really hard to do one handed, guys. And I'll do a whole video on what the port importance of isopods and springtails are for your um, setup. So, so that's my original culture. And with this one, you do not need holes um, because they're such a small little creature. They don't use much oxygen, um, so you won't need. You won't need to put holes in there. Also, they're so small they'll escape most holes. So, what I do is that. Just zip lock it, and I will mist it once in a while. And they stack nice that way. Just kind of, you want to make sure you give them air probably once a week just to refresh some of that uh, dead air in their container. But, uh,. If you want to see more videos like this, um, please like and subscribe. I will have plenty of videos over the course of this year, next year, and probably forever of videos detailing these things. Um, so please like, subscribe, and uh, better yet, just watch the video. So um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.